subscribers welcome back to my channel it's your girl chef rambo back with another video cooking tutorial recipe for y'all today i am going to be making homemade taco bell beef chalupa supremes y'all i got my ground beef i got my tomatoes sour cream i'm going to be using mild and hot taco bell sauce seven layer blend cheese. I got the old El Paso taco seasoning because they did not have Taco Bell at Kroger. They were all out. That white pouch is taco sauce that I have left over for a from a previous old El Paso taco kit. I got my stone fire pita bread, lettuce, and a little bit of canola oil. So y'all, I'm finna put my ground beef into my pot. I have it on um, high heat. I wanna hurry up and cook this ground beef up. I ain't got time to wait and I ain't got time to play. Now it's very important that you kinda shred your meat up with uh, your cooking utensil, whatever y'all gonna be using. If you using um, a wooden spoon or a wooden spatula or whatever you're gonna be using, make sure that y'all kinda try to chop that ground beef up a little bit with your utensil because I hate eating taco meat, queso dip, whatever it is, and I have big chunks of ground beef. I cannot stand it, y'all. So all we gonna do, y'all, is just continue to cook this until this bad boy is nice and brown. I do not see no pink spots. That's exactly how I want it to look. So we are gonna go ahead and add our first package of taco seasoning, baby. I actually... Once again, I'm using a three pound thing of ground beef, so I'm gonna be using two seasonings. Y'all can use whatever y'all wanna use, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use two, okay? Because I'm gonna be putting some other ingredients up in there. Now, I told y'all before, I am also gonna be adding in that pouch of taco, season, uh, taco uh, sauce. This is from a previous old El Paso taco kit, and I just had it laying around, and it needed to spice up the meat anyways. So as y'all can see, those seasonings are kind of all over the place. They not really well incorporated. So the purpose of me showing y'all that is so y'all can see we need some water up in there. Once we add that water, baby, all them seasonings is gonna get nice and incorporated and it's gonna be well seasoned all throughout. So I just took my taco seasoning and just filled it up with a little bit of water. I did that with both of my taco seasonings. So I added one thing of water and then I added another. And all we gonna do is continue to stir, continue to whip, continue to do what we been doing. We not finna be doing nothing extra, baby. This is perfect. I'm really, I'm really talking like this is a hard tutorial. All we are doing is grounding, is browning taco meat. Like, come on, girl. Okay, so as you see, y'all, them seasonings was starting to boil up a little bit. This is exactly how I want my meat to look. Um, I've let this cook now for probably about 20 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a little bit of that accent seasoning because sometimes the seasonings that they be giving y'all to put in y'all taco meat, they don't be having a whole bunch of seasoning. So I like to throw in the accent to give it a little bit of a flavor boost. Okay, y'all, I'm just going ahead and cutting up my tomatoes, and I'm using two tomatoes. Um, I'm trying to make this as close to Taco Bell as possible. Um, I actually used to work at Taco Bell, so it's so ironic that I love Taco Bell like I do because I actually used to work there, and you would think I would hate it, but I still love it. So the point that I'm kind of, the point, the the look that I'm going for is that Taco Bell look. So them, them tomatoes look like Taco Bell's tomatoes, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of brown, I guess fry up our pita breads. Um, I don't have um, a deep fryer and I don't know if you guys know, but Taco Bell actually deep fries their chalupas. So since I'm not able to deep fry mine because I don't have a deep fryer, I'm just gonna fry them on both sides. You do not want to let these go longer than 30 seconds because I'm telling y'all, the very first chalupa that I made, honey, it came out rock hard, honey. It was hard as a rock. So I'm just warning y'all now, please make sure when y'all do the chalupa, pita bread, whatever you wanna call it, do it for about 30 seconds on each side. And you wanna make sure you're spinning it, you wanna make sure you're touching it, cause it is so easy for this to burn. And them, them things are not freaking cheap, y'all. They are expensive. I got two pieces of pita bread and it was almost three to three, four dollars. So I don't know about y'all, honey, but I don't wanna be burning up my money. 
so I finished the first one and now I'm gonna finish the second one and I have about um I probably have about I don't even know y'all probably about two cups of canola oil in this pan and like I said sweetie I'm just letting this go for about 30 seconds on each side because I do not want to overcook this it is so easy honey to have rock hard chalupas and I don't know about y'all, but when my first chalupa came out, I was somewhere crying. I was kind of hurt. I'm like, dang, I get to, I gotta throw this one away because it didn't come out the right way. But honey, it's okay. It's okay. We all make mistakes. Even Chef Rambo ain't perfect. Even I make mistakes, you guys. No, I'm just playing. Okay, y'all. So we are letting this go on each side for about 30 seconds. And as you can see, it's starting to get brown, but we don't want it to get too brown. So just when it starts to get just a little bit kind of crunchy, but not really, we want to go ahead and take it out. So about 30 seconds on each side, y'all. And then we want to shake off the excess oil on a paper towel. And we are going to continue this process until we're done. And we are ready to assemble our Beef Chalupa Supremes, Taco Bell style. So since y'all, we cooked this on the stove we wanted, we didn't, our chalupa, like if we were to make this how Taco Bell made theirs, our chalupas might be a little bit darker in color, but because I didn't want these chalupas, like I said, to turn out burnt like my first chalupa did, I went ahead and just pulled them a little bit early. And then that way when you guys eat it, it's not rock hard because I'm telling you, that first chalupa, honey, really hurt my feelings that I had to throw it away because it did not turn out right. But like I said, none of us are perfect. We all have our own ways of cooking. Please try to stay positive. No hateful comments, no negative comments, honey, because we all different. Like we all got our own ways of doing stuff, honey. We can't judge people and we can't be doing that, honey. We gotta stay positive, especially what we going through in the world right now, okay? All right, y'all, so I put down a little sour cream. Now I'm taking a little bit of shredded lettuce. And because these, chalup these chalupas was really kind of more on the side of like the XXL chalupa because they was huge y'all. These chalupas are a lot bigger than Taco Bell's normal size chalupa, but honey, they was a lot cheaper. If we go to Taco Bell right now, y'all, we are gonna spend about four or five dollars on one chalupa and it's gonna be smaller than this, honey. So this is definitely, definitely, definitely cheaper. And I like a little tomatoes on mine. He don't like tomatoes, y'all, so I ain't have to put tomatoes on my boyfriend. And then we're going to sprinkle on, throw in a little bit of that mild, baby. I like to use mild and hot, but for the video purpose, I just went ahead and used mild. Look at how pretty that chalupa looks. You cannot tell me I am not Taco Bell right now. Like, what? Taco Bell where? I don't need Taco Bell. I can make it at home for cheaper and it tastes better. Oh my gosh, y'all. This was fire. If you are looking for a quick, easy recipe for you and your kids and your family, please make sure you guys try to make this at home. Make sure you comment, subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell, y'all. Until next time.